Guys, it's time to change the spur gear on my Traxxas TRX4. Take a look. The vehicle I'm using is a TRX4 Sport Driveline in a Bronco chassis. Motor is a Holmes Hobbies Trailmaster Sport 550 12 turn. Uh, the uh, 1080 ESC works out really well. Now, to change the spur gear, I'm going to remove the whole transmission. And it's going to be a lot of 2 millimeter hex wrenches needed. I've got to remove the battery tray, the motor, the front drive shaft, which uses a 1.5 millimeter hex, that little bolt right there, and a bolt here and over here that holds the transmission in place, and it'll just come right out. And I'm also going to take the rear drive shaft loose as well. So both drive shafts come loose. The stock spur gear in the Sport is the one on the left, which is a 39 tooth. The 45 tooth is what comes on the two-speed transmission, and that's what I'm going to put into the Sport transmission right here. When you order the uh, spur gear, you're also going to need to order the uh, clutch kit because that little uh, clutch pad doesn't really come out of there, and there are parts and links in the description below to get this. With all the bolts out and the front drive shaft loose, I did kind of have to pry it just a little bit. The rear drive shaft doesn't really have enough slip to come out, but with all the bolts out, there's your transmission. Nice and dirty. And that's the part that we're going to change today. To get the spur gear off, you're going to need a four-way wrench or a seven millimeter normal wrench socket. When you break the nut loose, the spur gear will actually get loose. And then the, then the shaft will just simply turn and you won't come off anymore. Just kind of simply put a little bit of side pressure on it, not a whole lot, and just actually get the nut all the way off. This is the assembly as it comes off the transmission. You got a disc there. You got the actual clutch pad and spur gear, another disc and then your wave spring washers, then a washer, then your actual nylock nut. When you're tightening down the replacement spur gear, you're gonna to have to do the little you know, side pull on it. Now Traxxas does have new plates you can put on to eliminate the slipper altogether. And there is a link in the description to get those. Putting it all back together is as simple as just sliding it right back in. You're gonna to wanna to put the drive shaft on the output right there and then it just simply goes right back into place. The pinion gear I wanted to run in this is an 11 tooth from Traxxas and it actually broke while I was, you know, tightening it up. Wow. The batteries I'm using for this test run are a 1500 milliamp Awanfi 2S, Helios 1500 milliamp 3S, and I ended up with a 12 tooth pinion gear. So it is 12 tooth pinion, 45 tooth spur. So it's slow, but a little bit faster than I thought it would be. Must be that 12 turn home. And it's on 2S. Not bad. Yes, time. That's a little better for me right there. I like that. So all in all, I like the 45 tooth spur better than the 39 tooth. Now the 12 tooth pinion gear, you know, I couldn't use the stock 11 because it broke while I was trying to put it on. And I don't believe I over tightened it either. So, but with the 12 turn homes hobbies, Trailmaster Sport 550, it actually done 
really good being geared down a little bit more. I like the 3S because it had to crawl and a little bit more wheel speed to hop around. So, all in all, I think this is a good swap and hopefully I can help you guys out with this. There are links in the description below for everything used on the truck. The Spur Gear Slipper, the uh, JX46 uh, kg Super High Voltage Servo, the 1080 ESC, it's all down there. So guys, take a look at that and as always, thank you all for watching.